that the great replacement theory is not some grand right-wing conspiracy theory, but a basic statement of the Democratic Party's platform. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. And you're watching the rise of an American demagogue that is a very, very despicable person. Yeah. And I, I'm, I literally, I, I, was, I was shaking listening to him talk. Well, why don't you cry about it? Hello and welcome back, all of you amazing people who keep coming back for more punishment. Misery really does love company. Well, today I have a clip here from CNN's communist race hustler, Van Jones, having an actual meltdown over Vivek Ramaswamy calling out the Democrat strategy of replacement in order to secure permanent control of the country. That is undeniably true. And I'll prove it to you. So just sit back, relax, and watch Van Jones walk himself into a field of rakes. Right after I quickly tell you about this important opportunity to learn more about precious metals investment and get a free coin while you're at it. Dark clouds are gathering as markets shudder. Stocks are sinking. Currencies stumbling. Fear and uncertainty reign. The Middle East, Ukraine, Taiwan, the debt, it's endless. Yet one asset stands firm, gold. In crisis after crisis, gold is there in the background. Its enduring value guards against loss like a missile shield against incoming. While paper wealth burns, gold persists. Listen to me right now. Shield your savings against looming threats, war, recession, contagion, and avoid the frenzied panic of the unprepared. Fortune favors decisive action, so get a hold of gold now before it's out of reach. Right now, Noble Gold Investments offers a free five ounce America the Beautiful coin with every new IRA. Claim your free coin today to secure your financial future. As this new storm gathers, panic looms, and some of those those places that you were thinking of for your money? Well, they're not looking so clever anymore. Secure your future against disaster. Open a Noble Gold Investments IRA and claim your free bullion coin today. Go to noblegoldinvestments.com now. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. The only gold company I trust. And remember, there's always risk of investment and there are no guarantees of any kind. In the smug, condescending way, that he just spews this poison out. <laughs> that was a good one. Is very, very dangerous because he won't stop Trump, but he's gonna outlive Trump by about 50 years. And you're watching the rise of an American demagogue that is a very, very despicable person. Yeah. And I, I'm, I literally, I, I, was, I was shaking. <laughs> Listening to him talk, because a lot of people don't know, that is one step away from Nazi propaganda coming out of his mouth. Yeah, um, I'm gonna have to go ahead and sort of disagree with you there. Are you serious right now? You are the very thing you're accusing Vivek of being right now. And all he's doing is calling out the open Democrat strategy of turning red states into blue states through illegal immigration. It's one step away from Nazi propaganda. How? Why? Nobody knows because there's no pushback. And it's not really hard to see why that is. Vivek is very unpopular with establishment Republicans, Democrats, and even the people who like him are suspicious of his AI-like on point sharpness. That's one thing, but the Overton window must be shifting because this man called out replacement theory on national television. Now, we're all used to seeing the Democrat Uniparty Media Alliance always connect so-called replacement theory to white supremacists and neo-Nazis, obviously to silence the critics. Now, neo-Nazis do have their own version of this so-called theory, but that doesn't mean it's not happening. In fact, Democrats have been very open about the strategy of replacing white Republican voters with illegal immigration, going back to at least 2004 with this book. And if that's not enough for you, how about the Democrats and the media openly cheering it on? I really think because of demographic changes in this country, I think that the Democratic Party is going to win Texas moving forward, and the Democratic Party is going to be in power for the next 30, 40 years. The demographic change that's happening in America right now gives the upper hand to Democrats. The census that just came out especially drives home the point that Texas is next. It's a state where the demographics are changing in ways that are favorable to the Democratic Party. Demographic changes that help the Democrats. Democrats for a decade now, along with Arizona and Texas, have had on this sort of long-term project of, of trying to take uh, some red states across the Sun Belt and flip them blue as demographic changes are taking place there. Democratic candidate Tim Ryan calling out his opponent J.D. Vance 
Pence's previous comments supporting and amplifying the conspiracy theory that Democrats seek to replace white voters through their immigration policies. White people will be replaced as the majority of the people in the country. That's not racist to say that, just it's just a fact. Oh, it's that's twisted. weird, man. That's weird. Why exactly is it so great for white people to become a minority in America? What exactly is in it for the current white majority to become a minority? Seeing how this strategy seems to be going on around the world in white majority countries only, I think it's a legitimate question to ask and one that almost never gets asked. I guess that would be because, as Van Jones said, because that's one step away from Nazi propaganda. Weird. It must be different when Van Jones does it, because just a few years ago, he was celebrating the virtues of replacement. Asking the white majority to do something is difficult. And I think it'd be easier if we just acknowledge that it's difficult. No ethnic majority group in 10,000 years of human history that I can find ever went from being a majority to being a minority and liked it. No shit. And that's basically the request from the racial justice left, is that we want the white majority to go from being a majority to being a minority and like it. That's a tough request. And I, I'm, I literally, I, I, was, I was shaking listening to him talk. Oh, that was different. <laughs> there you have it. Van Jones just openly said it. Whites must become a minority and like it. Gee, let me think. Which no other majority is willing to do in their own countries, which is why, again, as Van Jones says, it's a hard ass. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and keep checking back for more.